What's up everybody? It's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. That feels so weird to say. I have been gone a long time. I look very different from the last time you guys saw me on this channel. But I am officially back and I have a Q&A for you guys. I asked you guys on my Instagram last night. If you're not following me, it is at Marine Bio Mitch. And you guys had some great questions. A lot of them were about marine biology and some of them were about where I've been and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. Starting off with where have you been? I have missed your videos. So I kind of dropped off the face of the earth. I dropped off YouTube right in the middle of Vlogmas. I just got so overwhelmed and I went home for Christmas break. I did not see my family four months prior to that. So I really didn't want to spend my time filming and editing. And then I got back to school and I am in 16 credits. And I work two on-campus jobs and I have an internship. So uh, I am very busy. It's a miracle I'm sitting here right here right now. But where I've been basically, I've been doing school. I've been doing my internship. I recently got into snowboarding. I have been loving snowboarding and going up to the ski area on Douglas. Where else have I been? I've been doing a lot of hiking, just kind of prioritizing being outside. I have my car now in Juno, so I've been going on a lot more adventures than I was able to my past two semesters here. But yeah, just kind of living life. Like I said, I've just been so busy. So any free time I have, I don't typically prioritize sitting in my room uh, filming YouTube videos. I kind of prioritize being outside, but I hopefully am back to posting two times a week. We will see. <laughs> Next question is what is your favorite fish or fish? So oh, that's hard. I love salmon. They are definitely my favorite species of fish. I love sockeye salmon and king or chinook salmon. Those two are probably my top favorites. How were you sure that the college you're going to has a really good marine biology program? I researched it. I looked up every single thing about UAS marine biology that I could. I also talked to someone who went here and majored in marine biology here. So just networking, contacting different people or faculty and doing a lot of research. That is the one advice I can give people is do research on the university you want to go to. How many years of college do you need for marine biology? Would you need to transfer colleges? So if you guys weren't aware, I did I think it was two and a half yes two and a half years of community college and then I transferred up here to Juno so the college that I went to community college for did have an associates in marine science so I technically did not need to transfer if I wanted to get some sort of a degree in marine science however I myself personally want a bachelor's degree so I did need to transfer if you start at a four-year university for marine biology, there is no need to transfer. At that point, it's only if you want to transfer, like if you're not liking the school or you found a school with a better program, etc. Is there marine biology that focuses more on marine mammals? Yes, it is called marine mammalogy. There's not a degree for it. So basically how my school kind of does it is you have a bachelor's in marine biology and each professor kind of specializes in something in their lab. So we have someone who studies salmon. My internship in a professor's lab is with humpback whales. So marine mammalogy. My roommate is doing stuff with squid and that's her internship. And we have so many different opportunities and internships on campus for different things. So marine biology is like the key major. That's your actual major. And then like your emphasis or your focus would be like marine mammalogy. So that's the path I'm taking. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up. How many marine critters have already been discovered this year? That is a great question. Let me look it up. I can't find anything for 2022, but in January 2021, there was something about four recently discovered ocean species. So I don't have an exact number for you. I'm sorry, Sierra. My friend asked me this, but as of a year ago, it's around four. Are you worried about finding a job after college? If not, what options do you see? 
So this is another big life update. I'm like 95% sure I'm moving to Tennessee after I graduate because that is where my boyfriend is going to lineman school and that's where we kind of want to like end up. I would love to stay in Alaska, but I just don't really see like a future here. I love Juneau for school. I want an Airbnb here so I can come and visit and like make money from that. But that's, that's a whole other future plan. Um, I really want to work at the Tennessee Aquarium. I would love to work in an aquarium that I support. So as of right now, I'm not too worried about finding a job because I'm moving somewhere where there's job opportunities. Masters versus PhD. I don't know if this is asking the difference or what I would prefer. At this point, I don't see myself getting either. I really don't have the motivation to go back to school at this point. Maybe after being out of school for a year or two, I will have a change of heart. But as of right now, I really don't want to get either. My hair tie just broke. All right, gotta go fix that. Be right back. All right, we fixed both of them. We should be good to go. The next question was asked by one of my best friend's boyfriends, and it is what kind of cyanobacteria contains an entire ecosystem in one infestimal speck. Well, Eric, according to Google, it is stromalatic cyanobacteria. I did not know that, so I had to Google it, but there's your answer. What do you feel is the hardest part about your major? The chemistry and the physics. I cannot stand chemistry or physics. Thankfully, I am not in chemistry this semester, but I am in physics and it makes me want to cry every single day when I do my homework. Um, it's just so much work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of science. It's a lot of math. It's a lot of statistics and physics. And also, it's just, I, I don't know, it, it's just hard. <laughs> what is the most exciting part of being a marine biology major? All of the experiences I get to have. My internship is so awesome. All of my labs are super cool. Like one of my labs, we got to go out, capture snails and tag them and release them. And then we went and tried to find them again. Another lab, we dissected like mollusks and squid. So I love all of the hands-on opportunities I get. And who doesn't want to learn about whales? Like it's so exciting. <laughs> Advice for others who want to major in marine biology. I think I have a video on this. If I do, I will put the card up here. Just do it. I know a lot of people are very apprehensive about majoring in marine biology. Just do it. If you don't wanna do it because it's not gonna make someone else in your life happy, screw them, just do it. The next piece of advice I would give someone is to just ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. This is a very hard major. Just. Be open, be willing to make mistakes, be willing to not do so well on an exam. Believe me, I took an ecology exam a couple weeks ago and I was like, I made that exam my And then I got a 76. So I did not make it my But just do it. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Believe in yourself. Yeah. What are your summer plans? Any internships lined up? So I do have summer plans. I'm staying up in Juneau and I'm working for Alan Marine as a naturalist and a wildlife photographer. And I'm so excited. I decided not to do an internship this summer because I owe my mother a lot of money for bringing my car up here plus summer housing. So at the end of the day, it just wasn't gonna work. I had a really awesome opportunity to continue my internship over the summer and to go out on a boat and collect um, whale DNA and it was gonna be so amazing and I would work in my professor's lab over the summer, but at the end of the day, the grant that I would have to apply for would not give me enough money. I would actually make that grant money that they were gonna give me for the whole summer in like a month at my whale watching job. So I wanna do an internship this summer. However, just money is a thing. And I explained that to my professor and she was totally fine with it. Hopefully next summer I can do an internship. There's an internship next summer that I really want to look into. How much schooling do you have left? So I have just about a year. So it is currently spring 2022 and I graduate in spring 2023 and I'm so excited to be done. I can finally see the finish line. I'm so 
over school. I am like at my breaking point. I've had too many mental breakdowns this semester already. The next question is, did you see J-Pod's new baby? I did. I believe it is now J-59. So congratulations to J-Pod. They just announced it today. I'm so excited for them. I really hope that this baby makes it and that there's enough salmon to feed the little baby and there's enough salmon to feed the mom to feed the little baby. I'm just so excited. Like when I saw that in physics, it warmed my heart. Any advice for marine bio majors who are struggling in chemistry? I wish I could give that advice. I struggled in chemistry. I got a C, like literally a 70.0. I got a flat C. And I put my heart and soul, my blood, sweat, and tears into chemistry. And that was general chemistry. I don't know how I'm going to make it through organic chemistry in the fall. But that's a problem that we will handle in a couple months down the line. I would just say talk to your professor. A lot of the professors at my school are very understanding. They want you to succeed. And I have a feeling a lot of professors at different schools are also like that. They just want to see you succeed. They don't want to make you miserable or make you fail. So I would just say go to their office hours, talk to them, go to a learning or a tutoring center if you have one on campus. Even YouTube videos have helped me a lot with every subject that I'm in but just don't be afraid to ask for help. I know sometimes I'm like, I don't need help. I can do it myself. When in fact, I cannot do it by myself and I'm in dire need of help. What would you say to someone who has been told marine biology is not a good degree? I would say to, I would say that they're wrong, number one, because marine biologists actually make a pretty decent income the opportunities you are given in marine biology is amazing and if everyone who actually studied marine biology stuck with marine biology i'm pretty sure they would all le live very happy lives however it's not a degree for everyone i do realize that but if you have ever been told that marine biology is not a good degree don't listen to them go off of your personal experience because a lot of people tell you their experiences when you should form your own experience. And the very last question is different career options. So I'm assuming you're talking about in the marine biology realm. So you could do a research biologist for anything you're interested in. You could work in an aquarium, you could be a marine mammal trainer, you could be a stranding person that helps like stranded sea lions or birds. You could be a professor, you could do so many different things. And when people say there is no money or no jobs in marine biology, they're wrong and they have not done their research. So you just gotta make sure you do your research because there are jobs out there. Some of them are very hard to find. However, they are out there and you just need to put yourself out there and do your research, network, talk to people. You will end up right where you're meant to be. That is all of the questions I have time for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna be part of my next Q&A, make sure to follow my Instagram. It is linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.